And if you look at the president um, and the vice president, they, they're not there to fight for freedom. Um, it, you, you can't fight for freedom when you come into a country and destroy it uh, without any just cause. So, so that, that's a huge issue. And people really need to, to look at what should America be doing? Should we be going in, in Iraq and killing hundreds of thousands of people, destroying their infrastructure, for for what? What is the reason? WMDs, uh, ties to Al Qaeda, um, spreading democracy. All of these things are, are are what our fearless leader has told us the reasons for us being in Iraq. So that's kind of water on the bridge. We're there. We're killing people. Our soldiers are getting killed. And what is our Congress doing right this very instant to get us out? Now you have Hillary Clinton and Obama. They both have plans of withdrawing us from Iraq if, if they become president. But you know what? Are they not congress congressmen right now? Does not Congress have the power to pull us out of Iraq? And the answer is yes, they do. Uh, the Congress can do many, many uh, different tactics to get us out. One of them is to make it illegal for us to be in Iraq. You pass a bill saying it is illegal for our troops to be in Iraq. And if the president does not comply with that, then you arrest him and impeach him, which he should be arrested and impeached anyways. He brought us in Iraq under false pretense. Um, he's committed espionage against the American public, uh, warrantless wiretaps being one of them. Um, he has brought about torture to our enemies and our own citizens. These things are very serious. And what do we do? We let this guy stay in power? We as American citizens should stand up and say, this is wrong. In America, we do not kill people unnecessarily. We do not go into countries and destroy them for no reason. This is what we should do. We should get the guy out. We should throw his ass in jail because we that's what we do to murderers. We throw murderers in jail, and oftentimes we kill them. And George Bush is a murderer, plain and simple. 